What's up, guys? Jaxel here from AWayRun.com. You guys know me. I'm a Zen Foro add-on developer, and I've been working on some add-ons. And uh, uh, one of the big ones I do is, you guys may know, is 8-Way Run is very heavily integrated into Twitch. You know, we have our streaming browser, etc. Um, but there is a user on Zen Foro dot on the forums who uh, requested a use of the Twitch API. What he wanted to do was be able to scrape the Twitch API for a list of subscribers to a channel and anyone who's a listed as a subscriber on that channel would automatically get placed in a subscriber user group, premium members, etc., things like that. And I was looking into it and I said, you know what, this can be done. So that's what I did. I wrote this application. And what I'm doing is I'm putting this video to show how the application works because it's a bit more complicated than I would have liked it to be. I was hoping to be it was I was hoping it would be as simple as scraping the API, a list of email addresses, uh, comparing the email addresses to users in the database on the forum. But it wasn't that simple because the Twitch API doesn't actually expose email addresses for you know security reasons. So I wrote a different application instead. It's a bit more complicated but so the video is going to explain how to set it up all right so let's go into this let's say you already have the application installed it's in your installed applications list it's just named it simple twitch subscribers easy enough and you get to the uh, settings page of course you're going to need a twitch client id and a twitch client secrets this is similar to how you set up facebook on zenforo you simply click the link to register an application which will take you here. Uh, let's remove that for now. And you're going to click register your application. It'll give you a page, you put an app, a name, and a redirect URI. Now, I've already done this for my application. I'm going to show you how I did it. Now, the name, this is what's displayed to your users, so you may as well just put the name of your website. For the redirect URI, you're going to take the URL to your website and then attach register slash Twitch to it. Now, I'm using a uh, search engine optimized friendly URL, so my URL is as follows. If you aren't, it may look something like this. I don't remember exactly how it works in Zenforo. But either way, ablerun.com slash register Twitch. And when you generate, it will give you a client ID. Now, you're going to take this client ID, put it in the client ID section, and you're going to generate a secret. Now, secrets, you get one of these. Your application gets only one. And it is a secret, so don't let anybody know it. I'm going to change it after making this video, so my secret key is not going to work anymore. Okay, and so let's uh, add, let's leave these two blank for now. And let's add them to Premium User Group and click Save Changes. Now, you're going to need an access token and the channel. My Twitch channel is 8-Way Run, so, but I'm going to leave it blank for now to show you guys how it works. And the access token, I'm going to show you guys how to get. Now, normally, if you click Facebook integration, it takes you to itwayrun.com slash account Facebook. What you do is you change that URL to itwayrun.com account slash Twitch. And now it says your account is not currently associated with a Twitch account. Associating with a Twitch TV account will automatically grant you special privileges should you be subscribed to the channel below. I'm going to click Associate. And then, of course, because it's association, it's going to ask me for my 8 way run password. I'm going to click Associate. And now, as you can see, I've been forward to Twitch Kraken. And it says Authorize 8 As I said, that is the name of my application. Authorize to use the account. The account is looking to find your email address, uh, where you're subscribed to, and a list of subscribers to your channel. Now this isn't actually needed for all users. It's there simply because you know, well, I need to get a list of users. So we click Authorize. It says you are currently signed in on Twitch. And there you go. Associated Twitch account. It will run. It will run. I can disassociate, and that's fine too. Now you can see it's linked. Now if I go in here and type 8-way run, Twitch channel, click save. Now and refresh this page, because my logged in account matches the account we're looking for, it's going to list my key. And I'm going to take that access token and paste it right into access token and click save. Now 
there's something important to keep aware of with access tokens and uh, open authentication. OAuth allows one access token per user per application. So if I click disassociate and reassociate, let's do that all again. I now have a new access token. What this means is that this access token is now invalid. If I use this, you know, nobody's going to get listed as a subscriber because I'll be unable to connect to the Twitch API. So let's update with the new access token. Now, so as you can see, disassociating and reassociating your Twitch account will always generate a new access token. So you don't want to do that because you want to keep the same access token. Now, the same thing is saying if I open a new window and let's log into a different account, not Jaxel, let's log into test account. And let's go to that same place. Let's go account Twitch and click associate again. And I'm going to associate with the same exact account. So what it's going to do here is it's trying to register two accounts to the same. Uh, I'm sorry. It's trying to register two accounts with the same Twitch uh, uh, external author authorization. And yes, okay, I was linked to Twitch using this account. Unfortunately, because I did that, if I refresh this page, you can see I lost my, my connection here. Only one person can be linked to each Twitch account. That's a security reason. You don't want people sharing their Twitch account. So now instead of, you know, you've got 18 people using one Twitch account on your website and they're all abusing the free premium membership. So let's... Uh, Relink this, associate again. Let's take this code, let's put it back in here. Okay, so that's the code we're going to use now. Just I did that to explain to you guys how important it is that nobody else logs in using your account. Naturally, it's supposed to be an admin account, so you want to keep it safe, keep your password safe, etc. Simple stuff, basics of the internet. All right, so that's simple. So as you can see, it was that easy to set up the application. Now all a different user has to do, so let's go back in with the incognito window. Let's log in the test account again. This is easy because I actually have multiple Twitch accounts. And let's go back to account Twitch. And let's associate. And I'm going to log into a different Twitch account. So the 8 we run, I'm going to log into 8 we run 24 7. And authorize. And as you can see, I'm now linked. Now, unfortunately, this account is not a paid subscriber of the 8 we run channel. Why am I going to subscribe to my own channel? That doesn't make sense. But if I was, I would instantly become a premium member. The ads would disappear because premium members don't get ads. And, as you can see here, it would say, you are currently subscribed to the Twitch.tv channel. Now, at the moment someone links their account on it way run, it will automatically check to see if they're a subscriber. So, you know, the moment it's linked, it will say, okay, you're a subscriber. You immediately, in under a second, you get your premium membership. Now, this is not a premium membership. If I were to... Uh, be, so make this account a premium member, I'm sorry, a subscriber of uh, It Will Run on Twitch, it will take up to 24 hours before it automatically receives its uh, premium membership. Because what it does is the system will scrape once a day, looking for a list of s subscribers, see who's, a su who's new subscribers, who's linked their account on Twitch, uh, who's linked their Twitch account to Eight Way Run, and which of those accounts are subscribers, and give them user upgrades if needed. And of course, it'll also measure to make sure that if someone cancels their subscription on Twitch, then they will actually lose their premium memberships. It uses the whole uh, Zenforo user upgrade system, so it's very integrated into Zenforo and very easy to do. And it's got high security because what this does is since someone is allowed to link their account without having to deal with any email addresses, their email address on Twitch does not have to match their email address on 8 Way Run. And that's nice because, you know, people make like 18 accounts on Twitch because they're 
goddamn trolls. Yes, stream monsters. You're all a bunch of trolls. So that's about it. You know, it's a very simple add-on. It basically allows you to basically um, you can enhance your premium membership perks. Like I have a new post here. It says there is now an alternative way to become a premium member. It's easy. The moment you become a subscriber on my Twitch channel, you get a free premium membership on my website. Yay! You know, two for one deal. And of course, there's the link to it will run account slash Twitch. This link does not appear on anywhere, any menus or anything, because it is sort of a secret link. It's not something that you want to be handing out because there's no real reason for people to link their Twitch account unless it's to secure their premium membership. Now the reason for this is unlike Facebook, Facebook you can use as an open ID source. So when someone is logging in, let's uh Log out. When someone is logging in, they can say log in with Facebook. And that's fine because Facebook uses Open ID. And, uh, you know, people generally only have one Facebook account. Now, I could do that very easily with Twitch, but I don't think it's something you would want to do because people tend to have 20 Facebook accounts, as I uh, uh, 20 Twitch accounts. As I said before, they're a bunch of goddamn stream monster trolls. And, of course, there is no security on Twitch's uh, account system. They allow anyone to make an account without registering emails. And it would be end up being a big haven for spam bots and whatnot. So I decided not to include that. And I probably won't be including it in any future upgrade. So don't ask because you don't want it on your website anyways. So thanks for watching. And if you're interested uh, in the app, it is available on zenforer.com. All you got to do is go to resources and search for resources by me. I used to be in this most active authors list. I'm all the way at the bottom. Just cl click on my resources and it'll be there. Anyway, peace out, guys.